Good afternoon everybody and welcome to this meeting of the Dolbiti Common Good Fund subcommittee which is being recorded. The recording will be made available on the council website for public, public listening after the meeting. I'm pleased to advise that Robert McGoldrick has been nominated as the community representative on Dolbiti Common Good. We also have one member of the public present in the room. Remote participants, please follow the good guidance, good practice guidance, which includes muting microphones and switching off your video when you are not addressing the meeting. Writing speak in the Teams chat function when you want to contribute. Please don't repeat contributions already made by other members. No material should be posted in the chat function if it is intended as part of the discussion. The usual standing orders apply, including that any votes will be undertaken by roll call. If any member has to leave the meeting, please either leave the Teams meeting for that period of time or write leave in the Teams chat function and then join when you rejoin the meeting so we can keep track on whether the meeting is quorum. All members should speak clearly and directly into the microphone when making contributions and when referring to reports, please provide reference to the relevant page and paragraph to allow everyone to follow. Please focus contributions on areas where clarification is required or to propose an alternative to a recommendation. So the first item of business is appointment of a chairperson. Can I ask, do I have any nominations for a chair? I'm quite happy to nominate Kim if she'd take it. Uh, yeah, very happy to do that. Thank you. OK, thank you, members. I can confirm that Councillor Lowe is appointed chair and I will now hand over to the chair to proceed with the rest of the agenda. Thank you very much, um, Kimberly. Um, uh, please could you confirm Ted Arendt and uh, remote participation, who is um, any apologies, please? Um, thank you, Chair. Participating remotely is Councillor Kim Lowe, yourself, Councillor Ian Blake and Councillor Dougie Campbell, who is standing in for Councillor David Stitt today. Councillor David Stitt submits his apologies. Thank you. So I confirm my agreement to the participating members named participating remotely. Um, so item three of the agenda is any members or community representatives have any declarations of interest? Kim, can I give my uh, declaration of interest? I have had some involvement, some preliminary involvement with this land. I was contacted by a resident and really acted as a signpost for the department to, to state an interest in the land. I've had no personal involvement other than that, so I don't see any need to leave this meeting. I think that's absolutely fine then. Um, so item four is disposable of land adjacent to six Craigmouth Terrace Dalbiti. Uh, we have a report here by Colin Freeman. So welcome to the meeting, Colin. Um, have you got anything to add to that report um, before we see if there's any questions? Thank you, Chair. Uh, nothing further to add. Thank you. So. Have any members or community representatives got any comments or questions onto that? Now, there is a map attached to show where it is, and I went to visit it myself. It's literally a very narrow strip of land next to a public footpath. Has anyone got any questions or comments? Kim? Um, yes, Robert? Just to highlight, there are trees on that section. Uh, I just wondered the situation there. Also, it being as adjacent to the footpath at the end, you'll have seen when you looked at that, it gets quite narrow at that very end piece. I just wondered what would happen if that, that was sold off, what would happen to the access to the back of the properties back now? Um, 
Is that possibly a question that we can ask Colin as to the presence of trees and uh, thank you, Chair. It very much would be up to the responsibility of any potential purchaser what happens with that land. Uh, with, as I understand it, I think they want to uh, maybe upkeep that land a little bit more than it already does. So I would hope there would be actually some improvements to the, the appearance of that land if it was sold. Okay, yep, thank you. It's just very overgrown at the moment. So I can identify with that. Um, I've got a question, which is what are we talking about in terms of value of uh, the acre of the small area? Thank you, Chair. The the value put against that land is one thousand uh, pounds. When a lot to dispose of any asset, uh, be a building or land, it has to be valued by uh, a qualified valuer, uh, and it has to. We have to ensure that we beat uh, best value and get best consideration from any sale, uh, and we feel that one thousand pounds is an appropriate value for that land. Okay, thank you. That um, that that fills a gap certainly. Um, have any other members or Robert or anyone else got any questions? Kim, if, yep. when it's mentioned about the thousand pounds, uh, would there be transfer fees involved in that, or any other legal fees, or any other fees at all being taken off that money? Okay, I can direct that to Colin, please. Thank you, Chair. Uh, each party, the seller and the purchaser, would be responsible for their own legal. Our legal costs would be absorbed internally to the council. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Is that clear? Then. Are you happy with that? Uh, Kim, so it won't be taken out of the common good money that that would fall into. The legal fees I'm talking about. Chair, uh, absolutely not, Robert. And I did have another question, but I'm just giving anybody else an opportunity of where that then goes from anything made from the sale of the land, and how that's managed. Paul, you chair didn't quite catch the question. Um, so whatever is, is got for the land, um, that just goes into the Common Good Fund? That's correct. Thank you. Can I ask um, our, our ward officer a question, please, then? Um, is I presume one of the things we'll have to do is look at the of that fund and how that is used for the community. Um, what considerations do we have for that? Um, thank you, Chair. Yeah, up to this date, um, Dolbeti Common Good hasn't had any funds available. So if we get into a situation where we do have funds available from the sale of land, then that will be something for the members of Dulbiti Common, um, Common Good to discuss and set out what arrangements they want to put in place um, to allow the community to benefit from that funding. Okay, so we recommend should be that once there are some funds um, in money in the fund, then that we need to have a meeting to discuss how that's dispersed. Chair, if it's okay if I come back in, uh, one of the things yep. that it might be worth doing is, yes, recording that as, a, um, as, as an agreement for today, um, and it might be worth having a short workshop before a formal meeting so we can talk about those details uh, with the members of the Common Good subcommittee. Would um, other members be happy, happy to do that? Could have an indication from... Yep, board, Ian. No problem. Yep. No problem. Excellent. Okay. So, any further comments or questions on this before we look at the recommendations? I take that as a, a ready. So, 
this is the recommendations. Members are asked to one note that land adjacent to six Edgemarth Terrace there'll be a surplus council requirements as in, as in the appendix. Noted. Note. Note that there were no representatives following public consultation in terms of Section 104 Community Empowerment Act, Scotland 2015. Noted okay. and agreed to dispose of the surplus land in according, accordance with the Council's disposal and acquisition policy, either by open market sale or negotiation. Is that agreed? Yeah, noted. Agreed. So can I please maybe confirm what our next action is now? We've made that agreement, how this, this proceeds. Either from, yes, Colin, thank you. Thank you, Chair. Yep, what will happen now is that we will prepare the asset for sale and enter to that uh, negotiated sale with the interested party. Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, any other business deemed urgent? Um, has anything been notified? Obviously, we didn't have a chair before the meetings. That needs to be this point. Any, anything else being raised? Can you hear me, Kimberly? Nothing that I'm aware of, Bye. Chair. No. Okay, lovely, thank you. Um, so I assume there being no other business, this concludes the meeting and thank you for everyone who made contributions. Thank you for your attendance. All right, thank you.